If you were out driving today, you know it has been a <laughs> bit of an adventure. There were too many slide-offs and accidents to even count this morning, most of them due to the slick roads. County road commissions, of course, were relying on salt to clear those roads, but salt has limitations that you might not even know about. 24-Hour News 8 Steve Kelso has made a study of salt today, and he joins us now live with what he's found out. Steve? Good evening, Brian and Sue. This is it right here. I've only got about a cup of it, but this is salt from the Kent County Road Commission. This stuff almost has to be wet to work. This in its dry condition almost really does nothing. It's when it gets wet. That's when it makes a brine, and that's what starts cutting the ice. So salt truck operators today are using a wetting agent, liquid calcium chloride. And if you had been paying attention in high school chemistry, you would know this is a catalyst. Now, since the salt is a pre-wet solid, it starts working much sooner. If operators spread dry salt, they would have to rely on melting snow to start the process. We've all heard that salt stops working at a certain temperature. Well, that's not entirely true. You just need more of it, a lot more of it, so much more of it that it doesn't make sense to just keep dumping it on. Once you get below 20, you have to start looking, is it rush hour? Can we afford to put it down to get people through rush hour? Is it, the, is it during the middle of the day when we've got some sunlight? What's the wind chill? That wind chill t plays a factor just like it does refreeze of your skin. All those things come into play. But yeah, we can't afford it economically. This infrastructure can't afford 2,000 pounds per mile. The environment can't afford it, and your car can't afford it. I mean, Okay, here's another thing you may not have thought about with salt. It actually hastens the thaw and refreeze process. So salt today might equal potholes tomorrow. It doesn't matter what temperature it goes down, it doesn't work immediately. So just because you've seen the salt truck go by your house doesn't mean that your roads are automatically clear and you ought to just start driving on. Live in Grand Rapids tonight, Steve Kelso, 24-Hour News 8.